fail or win. You know, I hold the belief that everything happens for our benefit. So let me share a story of an epic fail and some lessons learned. So last month when meeting with a prospect, I made a comment during the beginning of the meeting that compromised some of the positioning of equal business stature. You know, I didn't even realize what I said. It was only after the meeting during a debriefing session that I became aware of what I said and its impact. You know, when you realize you screwed up, I don't know about you, but um, I kind of felt sick to my stomach. I actually thought I was gonna toss my cookies. You know, and so when things like that happen and the day still has got to go on, um, I typically regroup by maintaining an emotionless state so I can process the information yet still move on. So after processing, I am grateful because I had four ahas and I'd like to share. So the first, mindset before a meeting matters. You know, it's just the reminder that it's employing those triggers that reinforce a confident and empowered state. It's things like summoning an alter ego, uh, engaging in power posing, even verbalizing some of those affirmations about attitude of ourselves and our abilities. You know, if any of that is a little unclear, you're not sure what it is, connect with me and I'll clarify. The second, our language matters in what we say to others. You know, it's, it's pausing before speaking and really thinking about the little things, those little nuances that make a big difference. Our language also matters in what it is we say to ourselves. You know, that's the third. You know, epic fails, when they happen, it's the reminder that it's what we did, not who we are. It's, it's the big difference between saying I failed versus I'm a failure because that really messes with how we believe and what we believe. And our beliefs impact our judgments, which impact our actions, which impact our results. So that really matters. Um, the last one, what we do and who we are, they're two different things. So, you know, it's inevitable that we will screw up in the roles that we play. And you know, the beautiful part about that is that's when we learn and grow, but it's the reminder that it's who we are when we look in the mirror, you know, when we're stripped of all the roles, it's, it's seeing ourselves as an incredibly, awesomely fabulous individual always. And when we are able to see ourselves to the core as that fabulous individual, we're able to bounce back quicker when we don't perform like we think we should or we screw up royally. So, <laughs> you know, I, I was watching the commercial uh, with Michael Jordan. It's the Nike commercial. And, you know, he said, I missed 9,000 game shots. I, we lost 300 games. I was trusted with the ball 26 times for the game winning shot and I missed. I failed over and over and over again. And that is why I succeed. You know, <laughs> I don't know about you, but epic fail or win. I know what I think. What do you think? This is Deb Ellenberg with Sandler Training. Here's to your sales climb.